Okay, so on a good day, the full price is just because we don't have refineries. If we have refineries, we're not supposed to talk about subsidy removal. So if they, and what they do, they take our crude to other countries to refine for us. So it makes it very expensive, right? So government has said, oh, the cost of fuel after being refined is hundred thousand naira. Okay, don't worry. Pay, 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 you pay, let me pay 70% for you, and then you pay 30-30%. So what government do is they pay the percentage of the cost of fuel for us. But now they have said, come, we don't have enough money in our coffers to pay for you. You bear the whole hundred percent. So right now we are paying the whole hundred percent. And that's why, and because, see, there are certain things that affect everything in the economy. You see, for price, you see, even though we are not a dollar economy, because, uh, because we are not a producing economy, right? Most of the things that we use here, we import them. So that's why the exchange rate is hitting us very hard. As bad as it is, toothpick is being imported. So you find out that everything is hitting us hard. So that's why we are having, the, when these two things are high, the economy is in trouble, and that's why we are in trouble. So I need, I need to drill it down to the common man so that when you are continuing the family meeting thing that he talked about, you actually know what you are telling your child. When you are telling your child subsidy removal, because it's very easy to say subsidy removal. Meanwhile, the child does not even understand what subsidy removal is. So let's go back to the base and understand it. So having understood it, you've told us now, and I've tried to do one or two explanations on it. I think that drives you home. So, Mr. Gide has, so we have three people that have already talked. She has talked and she has talked. So, on the part of what Borogula just said, I need one more person to talk before we now go on what you intend to do differently. Thank you. What Borogula just said, from our understanding, is that it is like a hard time now. And what really goes about this uh, hard time, this change, is the new government that come into uh, position now. And when the, uh, if, on the, that May 29th, when it may be when they saw it may be in, into the position. He said something about the subsidy that there is no subsidy remover here. They will remove subsidy. So no subsidizing for for again, for prices again. And that really brought about price hike in Nigeria, cost of living really got high. So when it is even if if I affected our standard of living, only the metal trade there is no longer there, even at times once we reach. Then after after what brought about the change, you now told us how we're going to manage that change, how we will be living. We talk about our lifestyle, like when we lifestyle, our lifestyle, what we are passionate about. Maybe we like wearing too much shoe bag and scarf. Now we can just get maybe two shoes or one, two white and black. Or you have to about the men, brown and black. Yeah, it's okay. Another person is. He has told us enough. Another person. So concerning the uh, family planning or having a meeting. Okay, if I am to say, let me go to the market now. This okay. I used to buy custard for this amount and make separately. Okay, let me go for the one that they sell for three more. So make it easier for the family. Okay, we can manage this. Okay, for now for my children. Okay, I don't have custard. We can manage that. It's very nice. Persuade them to try it. Say them try new things. If it is them, it's love. At least that way they will get to understand. Oh, mom doesn't have money for this, but we can still do the that way they will understand and try to manage it. And for the passion, we talk about having passion for your dream and go for it or you lose it. A lot of us are working. Like my boss told me, said, I work as a teacher. It's never my passion to be a teacher. But when you put your passion into it, you will see you come out making huge, huge success with what you are getting from your salary. And even what I intended to do as my passion, I can't do it right now because I don't have the income or the, the capital to start it. But with the job I'm doing, even the side business you talked about, I said, yes, even as of today, yeah, even as of, of today, someone asked me I want to buy hair. I told her the price. Forgetting that that is the old price. And immediately when I checked and I saw that ah, from 230 to 260, and I already told the customer 265. Like I'm not making anything. I said, no, I'm not selling. I'm sending you back to your But well, because she knows the quality of what I do, and I told her this is the amount I'm selling. I'm selling for 290. If you're not buying, I'm sending you back your money. She said, no, 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 no. Go for it. I will add money to it. So if you know what you do, put your passion and just do the best. You get a lot from me. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What she has actually done was telling us the degree of it. No, no, no. What she actually did was telling us um, um, the side B. 
Okay, so I'll take it that she told us it's like B. That's um, what you intend to do differently, which she's trying to do. Okay, she does three days for her children. She's going to be telling to one or even do Gary, to a substitute of Gary, instead of custard and all of that. So that's what you intend to do. Okay, so can you give us two more examples of what you intend to do differently from what you have done, from what you have heard? What I'll do differently is getting extra lines of income. Like, don't settle for one line of income. Have different streams of income, irrespective of the money that is coming in. We take for granted wages. Money that comes in comes in on a daily basis goes a long way. We shouldn't disregard humble beginnings, irrespective of how little that income is. Do something, look for, do a visibility study in your area. Identify a need. Try to satisfy that need. Render a service and get paid for it. Like, just look at your environment. Okay, there is a residential area. There's no gas station around. You could start small. It doesn't have to be the big scale gas dispensing system. You could just get a big cylinder of uh, gas and start refilling gas in a bit. Two, two kg, three kg. You get daily income. You could as well sell water in your area. The people buy use pure water to uh, cook their meals, which is quite expensive. If one thousand naira worth of pure water is just six bags of pure water. In some areas, it's five, five, five bags. So you can get a water tanker to deliver water to you, supply water in the area, sell a care for like 200, 300. We shouldn't look at it that, okay, uh, I cannot do this kind of job. It's too demeaning. I'm too educated for this. If you have that mindset, you cannot make headway in life. You should focus on earning a living, irrespective. They say uh, sewage money, people, they pack waste. Well, one, we don't forget, you know, they smell. When the person not collect money, you go easy and feed the family. So we shouldn't disregard humble beginnings. Thank you very much. So that's all she intends to do differently. We have to be studying her area. What are they? What do we really need here every day that is not very close by? That is not we cannot easily reach. We have to go to the station to try buy gas, and there's no one around the area. The truth is that even if it is, I don't know how much petition sell 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 now because it's still the last bit have no bought. But I can I can tell you if you say it's six thousand naira, people will rush to buy because instead of venturing on Canada to the station, I can make a diamond here. Let me even buy one liter. Let me even buy two uh, kg. Let me even buy three kg. Meanwhile, they are buying. They're making your stipend, and your gas is reduced. You have to go back to refill. So that's what she intends to do differently. Like me, pure water thing that she mentioned, I used to buy from this street. But since the water thing, I had I had someone that comes to supply to me directly, and I get seven seven bags for one thousand instead of buying from the roadside five for one thousand. So the person comes to supply to me all the time. So we have to do something different. The truth is that with this economy today, if you do not try to do anything, to continue to do the way you used to do before now, you went into serious difficulty. It's a serious one. So we've heard what she intends to do differently. She said her share what she intends to do differently. And one more person, what you intend to do differently. Vera. Okay, I think the brother talked about sisters liking pink, pink, pink shoe, pink, pink, yellow, yellow, yellow. I think I tried to do that differently. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's what we're trying to do. In her own way, it's fashion. In her own way, it's fashion. So, what she intends to do differently is fashion. That okay, say, ah, uh, instead of trying to do to my do a mono, whatever they call it, I try to just wear whatever I have. The truth is, this, no matter how badly you're dressed, as long as you're not exposing your body, nobody will come and tell you, sister, why are you wearing yellow? You wear pink shoes. Nobody will come and tell you. So, I have you ever called color blocking? Now it's, it's fashion. Block me. So you go ahead and call up lucky. Nobody will come and tell you why you're wearing green and uh, whatever. Damn it all. So long as you're not naked, you're fully covered, right? Nobody will come and harass you to say you're naked. Fine, wear your colors. I don't think anybody will stop you. Okay, so we've heard three people on what they intend to do differently. Um, I really want to draw more light on what she said. You know, when I was growing up, I was like, hair, hair making is my passion. It's my passion. Like, if I do not do hair in a day, that's if. I've not done anything, but I look at a lot of things that start changing. Women do their hairs, it's like wigs, it's now rampant everywhere. And I look at myself, I say, this hair of it is not really giving me much more than I wanted. It's not like I cannot make it, I can do to home service, do a lot of things to make it, but the money is not coming. And that's sad and wonder, I wanted myself, I should go into food selling. I was doing, even exactly what she was doing to grills, a lot of things. I was not making more money. Like I have kids, I feed them from there. I know that if I cook this from there, they will eat. So that was why I now started making my uh, making changes in everything. You understand? So 
that's what she said. It didn't really got to me. I was like, I said, wow. Because now in this country, because you have to go a lot of, do a lot of things for you to make money because the economy is not even really helping. You understand? You find out if you go to the market today, what you buy today is more higher. You understand? So that's why I want to show more like. All right, thank you very much. So that's supporting what Stakubi said. Yeah, you want to speak to whatever thing. As I am now, if I say on that one, that will give me more money. I don't know. I don't have to be in jobs. I keep saying it, and I mean it. When I say it, I actually mean it. It's all about the money for us now, and how, all about making a living, right? So long as it's uh, lawful, whatever it is, I go for it. Sister Swado! Swado! I don't know say I'll be pension now. For the branch, apart from one or two people, I'm the oldest too. What I do differently is, before, if I want to cook soup, I go buy that native fish. I go buy them. Banga. Everybody listen, no, listen, no. It's for everybody here. Meat, okra. When I cook this, soup, when you see them, you go want to eat. But these days, eh? eh because the one where they come from government is not plenty. But these days, eh? Meat. You go to the market to buy meat. Four pieces for one thousand naira. I go look the meat. I say, which kind of thing with this one? I don't buy meat again, no. When I not titles, brother titles. When I not brother titles, I go for the original. I look for the original wherever I can get it. I will buy it. Buy banla, okoroko. I go soak them for water. When it don't, it don't soak well. well. I go mix them with the banla. I don't take a cook a uh, goosey soup or banga soup or okra soup. When you see it, you will still like it. Mm. Then my small baby, Bellumi, I used to buy him a golden moon. In fact, when I just get salary, I go to do big woman. I go buy a golden moon for him. So he comes out to have this. Uh, every, if you don't see that golden moon, I'm not going to want to eat. I say, my friend, you will eat too. Uh, you have to eat uh, back this morning. As you want to go to school because I don't have money to buy gold anymore. Sometimes we eat, sometimes we will not eat. Okay, drink tea. Ah, no, Grandma, Mommy, I don't want to drink. As you go hungry. Now, this morning we are to come. I said we are going to keep late in the church. Oh, Richard, make a bar. Oh, yeah, don't make a bar. We load the belly before we call this morning. <laughs> Make him eat, he said he not go eat. Normally before we don't eat ever in the morning, by the grace of God, we don't eat ever. Eat ever, he said, uh, uh, no, uh, uh, go and meet my daddy, okay, go and meet your daddy. Okay, I will see what your daddy will be to you. Eat ever, if you don't go to uh, eat ever, you are not coming to service, then you eat me too. You know, things you used to be, do before, like what's all that you sing? Things I used to do, I do them no more. The things I used to do, I do them no more. The things I used to do, I do them no more. Yes, I... That was... This is Ado. Yes. Formerly, I used to buy milk and milk in tea. Within one week, don't finish. I go go buy it. In fact, in a month, I used to go up to six times. Yeah. They'll be taking it. Now, I don't anymore. I buy such a one. If you want to drink tea, take one meal or one meal. If you don't go rich, you don't drink. For soup, if the tea is why you take cook one pot of soup, and they usually make two pot of soup now. Pot and for freezer. If I don't buy them, my tea now, this a day, coco yam for the egos. If I don't buy, I will use the same um uh, what the same quantity of things I buy for one. Two. I go divide them into two. I go put bitter leaf for one. I go put a half for one. I don't get two soup. Sometimes I go put two sister for another one. I don't get three soup. Yes. I go put a Mr. Freezer. You go give you different taste if you want them. My tomatoes, I cook it two more. When me finish, I will go egg, put inside. Put the rice, put egg on top. If you don't go eat, liver. So that is how we have been pushing up. This this I school resume. I don't buy uh, snacks. And there you'll be taking water, carry food, drink water and come back. So now so we push them more. Okay, go. Thank you. There is something I forgot. Let I teach you now. Let I teach you now. Before, I like to make stew. 
So one day I call my daughter and say, Come on, Lola, I don't have stew. You say, Mommy, I'm still cooking stew by this time. You say, You know, no, go to the market, go and buy wuku, buy crayfish, buy fresh pepper. I granite oil. Cook the uku, not for too long. Let it be crunchy. Keep it. Be using it to eat your rice. Sisters, go home and try it. And you will come and thank me. Thank you very much. My main market is online. I do pay ad on Facebook to advertise my hair. So what I do, because I have some customer base, maybe Abuja, Potter Court, Abba, wherever they are. So I will look for those women that used to buy good hairs from me. I will beg them, please, can you help me to advertise on your page? Or help me to post it on your WhatsApp status as as of last month, so they still helping me to repost, and from there, I'm actually getting a new whole customers from that place. So anybody can also try that instead of paying ad, so you can save money for that ad. The second one is about form, since they increase form because we in our business we spend so much money on swelling our generator. So what we did was getting a smaller inverter that can power some equipment that will make us to save some money for four. So since two weeks ago, we've been doing that and we have also saved so, more, um, so much money from that one. So I think someone... Oh, nice, nice, nice. I'm sure we'll hear you. Then they see not. So who else am I going to give? I want one that's in the house to talk. Mr. Mitchell, I've not heard your voice. Yeah, I did. I love this. I like, I like, 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 like to eat with you before. So now... Thank you. Right. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think they have said it all because, because let me start from what's like that egg, you know, before. My children, I have to put one more egg, full food, and then I have to divide the egg. I'm telling you the truth. No, but I do divide it. Honestly, even when they are going to school, I will divide it. We will take half of and go to school. So, before, I don't used to buy, uh, we don't used to drink the water in my house, especially my children. I will drink the water, my husband will prepare for my children, I like getting the water water for them. But don't be pressing them in. I feel what everybody they get for house now. So what you have to adjust because the country is not coming to the big veggies, like Pro said. You know, Milo is the everybody we 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 think we believe that Milo is the highest big veggies and it's not expensive. Big meat is expensive. What subject like it's all and now there's no quantity in it. The one I do now I go for a cheaper one. But let them let them take that one. Tell us about that one. Good, uh, good, uh, good timing. Good timing. Yes, good timing. It's fifteen naira for one. Saturday. Yes, even yesterday when I, I got my what what I want to buy, and, and I have that I have small change with me. I, I, I went to the bank and bought two rows. The step is 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 affordable and it's okay. And at the end of it, took they took me. So it's me. For me, for my first son, he's quite a picky eater. So most times when we come to the service on Sundays, I usually make tea for him because he barely eats at home. So I don't want him to be on an empty stomach. So I'll make tea for him. But for now, because the price of Milo and beverages are quite high, I don't give him that tea anymore. I force him to eat every morning. If he doesn't eat, he'll stay like that. So when he's ready. And I've also noticed that when he's very hungry, you see him rushing the food. But when that beverage is, is in his stomach and you give him food, that's when he eats. Yes, Another thing is, um, um, when the tomatoes were quite expensive, me as a person, I didn't yeah, used to take a broken, I don't uh, cook with broken tomatoes. But there was a day that um, I had to try it. Because somebody told me that it's, it's cheaper than the other one that is not broken. So I tried it that day and I made sure that they washed it thoroughly. thoroughly. Yes. And I bought um, a quarter a, a quarter basket of that tomato. The quarter basket of that tomato was um, one eight, I bought it. But for the the, the, the bigger one, it was I think four five or three thousand, I can't really remember. And after making that stew, it lasted us for two good weeks. 
Thank you very much. I tell you, I love the last speaker because she broke it down. Some of us will go market. Is the tomato never strong? Hard, where, where? You know, they buy. Okay, all you for is your money. Buy, especially the way the manners are just coming back from market. It's in a, my motto now, I can't press the tomato. Buy them, it's cheaper for you. The only thing you have to do is ensure it's thoroughly washed. Wash it, put in there, put garlic, and then blend them. Food don't let, don't, don't come down. So let's put this in ourselves. Okay, so I want to thank each and every one of us for this session. I'm sure we've learned a thing or two. I learned a thing from her. I learned from the tenant. A lot of us here, we learned a lot of things from each and every, and that's the essence of this. The practicability of what we are hearing. Not being English, English, English all the time. You get so I want to actually learn from each and every one of us. I might be thinking that my own way is the right way. Maybe I might actually be wrong. So that's also okay. Let us even hear from some. We actually wanted to go around everybody stay here, but there's no time. And don't forget, we actually born in general. I'm talking about so we need to actually do a round of two. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much for this for staying back. I'm sure you all enjoyed it. Thank you.